What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout 4. Here we are with Lester and Doggy. Uh, ready to go. Ready to, to do stuff. So, really? Okay. Uh, they're, they're actually um, explaining how to fast travel, but we're not going to do that right away. Uh, simply because we have no reason to. We can only really travel to Sanctuary and the Vault. Uh, but we want to go to Concord, so... Let's see. Map. That's where it is. Uh, so we're just gonna go there now. And completely ignore the road. It does exist, but we're just gonna ignore it for now. Let's go, doggy. So a lot of houses actually can be, um... Entered and looted and everything. Uh, it's not all of them. So there we go, little cap stash. That's pretty good. Probably just the back door, yep, that's exactly what it is. Got some pork and beans. Ooh, Nuka-Cola Quantum. Alright, so that's actually a healing item. That is very, very good. So we have just some normal stuff like cram and some meat here and there. Uh, which is decent, but the Nuka-Cola Quantum will heal you for 400 HP. And 100 AP as well. I mean, it's a great, great healing item. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. So I'm gonna keep it and not sell it. What else is in here? An ashtray, a bobby pin, that's actually good. Some more bobby pins, welding goggles, and a red bandana. Let's take a look. We already have eyeglass, but a bandana could work. For our, uh, or for our Lester, look at that. And what we could do... Hey. Is trade with Dog. There we go. And give him the, um... Let's see... Welding goggles. And he can equip them. Look at this. It's a doggy with goggles. Isn't that cool? Alright, so the safe is actually too difficult to pick right now. Some Nuka Cola. And we got some chems here, some buff out. So that's pretty good. So, okay, let's make a note. This is advanced uh, lock. If we can open it, we should come back. Although, you know, that will take a while and I will most definitely forget about all of that, so... That's good. Concord, here we go. And look at this place. It's deserted. Where'd everybody go? And that's gunfire. Hey, we can actually go in here as well. Some water. Alright, we want to check out the gunfire, but let's... Yep, here we go. Some first aid. Let's see if we can get a vantage point up here. Hello. Some good ammo. Ooh, this is good. Alright, so we just found a short pipe revolver rifle. Which is not only really cool, but it's better than what we have. Alright, that's an expert lock. It's not gonna work. Some wonder glue. This is a really nice weapon to have, though. Let's put it to good use. Oh, that's a raider. Get out of here. This is my street now. Please tell me you have ammo for this thing. He doesn't. Alright, there's a couple of raiders attacking this building. And that was all of my ammo. Pipe pistol. A little shotgun there. Alright, we'll do, buddy. We'll do. Calm down. Uh, because we got some, some good stuff here. Out of time. Look at that. That's a lot of experience. Uh, so much, in fact, that we just leveled up twice because we, we arrived here. Uh, so let's take a look. This is the perk chart. In Fallout 4. Um, they changed the system dramatically from Fallout 3 where you just got a list of perks to choose. Um, here it's entirely up to you. And the perks that you can choose are um, determined by... Oh, look at that. They're determined by your stats, your special. Um, so for example, we have two in Intelligence, so we can really only pick either Vans or Medic. And nothing more. So we could put a point in Intelligence, but waste a point uh, to get access to the next one, which would be Gun Nut. 
That's actually a good idea. But first, I wanted to get Idiot Savant. Um, you're not stupid, just different. Randomly receive triple experience from any action. The lower your intelligence, the greater the chance. Hacker, oh boy. Why did I even go with low intelligence? Alright, but Idiot Savant was just something I wanted to try, so we're gonna go ahead and, yep, confirm that one. So that is our first point that is now spent. Let's see what else we got. We have so many options. Too many, in fact. Alright, so something we might want to do is go for... I want to get Gun Nut. I want to make sure we can get this because you need this ability if you're going to get um, better upgrades for all your weapons. So I'm going to go ahead and put one point into Intelligence. And then at least we'll get Gun Nut. Um, as soon as we can. Alright, so we have no ammo anymore for this one. We do have some ammo for the uh, the shotgun, which I just found. Look at this bad boy. It's just a little shotgun. Uh, also, we just found a lot of different armor. So the drifter outfit that we have is honestly pretty bad. So what we'll do is we're going to equip some of these things. Sack, hood. All right, hoses, straps. Let's go with the hoses then. Alright, let's take a look. That doesn't even look that bad. I gotta tell you, I'm not a big fan of the sack hood thing. Uh, but aside from that, it's pretty okay. Alright, let's equip this right leg. So now we have a right leg, a left leg, right arm, left arm. That's all good. Um, eyeglass drifter outfit. Red bandana. Alright, so this will just have to do for now. At least this is some decent armor. What's up, buddy? How did you die? Explorer outfit. And he dropped his short laser musket, which is a really cool weapon. Let's take a look. Short laser musket. Now look at this. Yeah, let's grab it. Come on. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Alright, what's cool about this weapon is you can charge it up like that. And it's all like a... Um, double barrel shotgun that if you charge it twice it will be more powerful but you'll lose that entire charge um, when you shoot it but it is going to do a lot more damage so let's take a look at this come on loading times are still I'm not really sure how I feel about them uh, they still tend to be quite long there we go alright so as you can see it's a pretty good weapon there's nothing wrong with this. Alright, bobby pins. Alright, let's get up there. Hey, who's shooting me? Oh, this guy. Come on, show your face. There we go. Yeah, so I can charge it twice to do extra damage, or I can just charge it once and conserve ammo. Oh, sorry. Uh, I just ruined this museum. Even though it was already, you know, in pretty bad state. Sorry. Oh, that's a raider. See, look at that damage. That's good. There we go. Pretty easy. Alright, that's that. Gun. This is the pipe tire iron thing. Alright, let's try using this as well. <clears throat> Come on. I haven't really used the melee weapons too much, so I'd like to test them out a little bit. Oh, hello. That is not bad. Alright, so let's take a look. The We just got a pipe bolt action pistol, which is very, very good. Stronger, in fact, than the pipe bolt action rifle. Alright, let's use this then. Apparently this weapon is just all kinds of good. Oh, what's in there? Little basement. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this doesn't really lead us anywhere else. It's nothing we haven't seen yet. Alright, so let's get started with the uh, the tire iron first, though. Right away jet. Got a switchblade. I think Fallout 4 might be a lot of fun with a, um, a melee character as well. Because there's a lot of... 
perks and things that you can do as you when you're a melee character. All right. Come on, where are you raiders? I know there's still raiders out there. I just don't know where they are. There you are. You jerk. Okay. Take care of that. What are you whining about? We're okay. We got this. Oh, this is that dead guy. What's up? Gas mask with goggles. That could be good. Honestly, anything I think would be better than wearing a sack on my head. I mean, this is still not perfect, but it's better than the, uh... The, whatever it was called, sack hood. Alright, is there somebody in here? Yeah, there's people in here. Alright, let's grab the gun. Bolt action pistol. Let's actually put that on four. So I can use it nice and quick. There we go. Triple experience for that one shot. There you go. Um, so now that we have somewhat low intelligence, we're going to see a lot of triple... Uh, triple experience things, I'm hoping. I'm not really sure how it works, but I just thought it'd be cool. Let's take a look at this short bull action rifle. It's not perfect, actually. It's worse than... It's just as good as the pistol, actually. So I might... Maybe I prefer using this. I'm not really sure. What is this? Mm, yep, that's a, that's a no from me. Not gonna do that. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna I'm get myself killed. Smash. Why is my guy not smashing? There we go. Go doggy. Let's kill him. Let's take him out. That worked. Oh god, that's very bloody. I will take everything, actually. Alright, make sure we didn't miss anything. Another short pipe revolver rifle. Although I'm guessing this one uses the same ammo as the other one. It sure does. It's a cool weapon though. Alright, so let's walk around with the, the musket then. What's up, buddies? I saved you. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minute. God damn it. Uh you owe me for the for the help, man. You owe me. Yeah, sure thing. I'll give you my chest full of emeralds, oh, just as soon as we're out of this mess. I don't think you like that. Alright, so what's going on? Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Uh, sounds rough, tough break. Yeah, sounds rough, man. It's a cruel world. I mean, they're both kind of... Yeah, it is a cruel world. It's a cruel world. You think I don't know that? Oh, the things man. I've seen. The things I've done. Anyway. We figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Maybe? Those raiders proved us wrong. Nope. But... Well, we do have one idea. Well, I hope it's a good idea. Better be a good one. Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Um, alright, that sounds pretty pretty good. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Oh, I dig. That's a good idea, it is. Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. 
Okay, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I wonder what happens if I just say that I'm out. Let's do it. The answer's no. I'm out. Just like that, huh? You come to oh, God. To these poor people to die? All right. Have it your way. Stay safe. Maybe at least one of us will survive this. Oops. Wait, can I? Okay, I made. A, I changed my mind. Change your mind, tough guy. You gonna help us get that fusion core? Yeah. I'll do it. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that mini gun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't like that very much. Oh, hello. There we go. You've collected an issue of Robco Fun. It includes the Atomic Command holo holotape game. Uh, these are actually things I think you can play on your uh, Pip Boy, but I haven't really tried it yet. Hey, what's up, lady? Careful, kid. There's something coming. And it's, it's angry. What are you talking yeah. about? What? Dog meat? So, he's your dog? Ah, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog meat, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. Uh, what's wrong with you, lady? You're you're crazy. Well, I don't want to go there. All right. So you saw it? What are you talking about? You saw it? It's the chems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. Um. Okay. What does that What does that mean? What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. Uh, and right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. Man, what is wrong with this lady? Alright, what is it? What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I'm I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a raider. I'm tired now, and if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Why is she so incredibly slow? My god, alright, so something's coming, it's angry. Thanks for the help there. What's up, Marcy? You okay? What's going on? Are we getting out of here? Well, if it's up to me, we are. What's up, J uh, Jun? Mister. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Look, and steals rounds. Look at that. I have a pretty good chance to steal him, too. Let's do it. <laughs> See ya, buddy. All right, perception bobblehead. Only through observation will you perceive weakness. Your perception has been permanently increased by one. It's a bobblehead. It's our very first one. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's the, it's the same way in Fallout 3. Um, where you can get these... What's up, buddy? You can get these bobbleheads, and they will increase your stats. And there's one for every... Every of your special stats. Alright, let's see. Oh! Alright, so we gotta open this, uh, bad boy. So we can either use the computer terminal, or just pick the lock. I mean, this is bound to be a lot quicker, though. Alright, and we can still actually hack the computer. 
Let's get the fusion core though. Alright, so we can still hack the computer to get some free experience out of it. Um, pretty sure I already showed you guys what this was like. Alright, so I'm guessing it must be... It must be thugs. Okay, it's not at all. Darren. What kind of word is that even? Alright, fruit. No, samba. That'll do. Nice. Yep, there you go. Unlock security gate. Even though it's already unlocked, but you know. There we are. Alrighty, so with that done, we have now have the fusion core that we needed. Let's see, we gotta get back up there. And now we have what it takes to um give the the old power suit its uh oh what Oh, I already got everything, okay. Uh we got what, what we need to give the power suit its um well power. And we're ready to do to do this now. And just kick some butt. What are you do even doing on your computer anyway? Looks fake. I don't trust you, buddy. Alright, so we took care of this, though. Let's go. Have we been on this side? I don't think we have, actually. Alright, so this is just cleverly set up so that you actually have to pass through this room. If you want to get over, he uh, over here. Yep, th I think that's part of the crashed vertebrate on the roof. Let's take a look. Here we are. So they weren't lying. This really is a crashed vertebrate. Oh, hello. Got a log there. Some stuff. Alright, let's play this log and figure out what's going on here. Play. Log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. I haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America. Or what's left of it. Alright, there we go. Now we know exactly what happened with the vertebrate. We know whose power armor this is and what happened to the guy. I gotta tell you, normally I don't really even care that much for story and video games, but I really do enjoy the way... Oh god. I just really like the way that Fallout handles these little things by, you know, giving you a bit of story here and there by t talking to people. There's you know, little uh, audio recordings. There's so many things around. Um, it's really great. Even the way some things are set up, there's stories, but I haven't really ran into anything like that yet uh, on this character, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, guys, that's it for old Lester. He's tired now. In the next part, we're going to get into this power armor. We're going to grab that minigun and go take care of the raiders down there. Um, but we're gonna do that in the next part. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support so far. Um, I'm just really loving this game, and there's so many positive comments. I know there's not, like, a crazy amount of people watching, but just the comments are still really nice to read, so thanks for that. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back soon with some more Fallout 4, so stay tuned.